this holiday season, there are families in our community who are missing loved ones serving our country overseas. And in their absence, even the simplest task can seem overwhelming. And that's why there is a nationwide effort to pitch in and help. New at 6, Pam Elliott introduces you to people who are answering that call for help. Todd George and Drew Perrymore are getting ready for that first big snowfall. They don't know when that will hit, but they know this street will be on their route. She's got a lot on her hands this winter. She is Melissa Arzola. She has four children, and her husband, Jorge, is a lieutenant colonel in the United States Air Force bound for Afghanistan. We met the family while they were celebrating an early Christmas. I think I'll have it easy. I'll be doing my job, and I get to work hard and go to church and study. Uh, my wife will be working very hard here with the uh, four kids. But she won't have to worry about shoveling their driveway this winter. George and Paramore have agreed to take care of snow removal for the family free of charge. They volunteer their time and equipment through an organization called Project Evergreen. It's available to military families throughout the country. They go above and beyond their call of duty and they volunteer to take care of the lawn and the snow care of the deployed troops. So we're very blessed and very grateful to uh, Drew and his crew at Ohio Greenworks. It's good to help out vets, you know, active yeah, you service want, members. You want to feel like you're doing something. I mean, we can't go overseas, obviously, and be how they, you know, fight like they're fighting because we're trying to run a business. So it's our part of kind of giving back to them, helping them out, helping their families out. Lieutenant Colonel Arzola found out about Project Evergreen online and registered. He was matched with Ohio Greenworks. Paramore and George got involved earlier this year when they took care of mowing another family's yard during the summer. It was a job that could have made them $1,500. That's pretty small compared to the sacrifice that they, when they go overseas for a year, 15 months, whatever. So, I mean, it's not a big deal for us to kind of help out like that. The organization is always looking for volunteers. Anyone who can push a lawnmower or pick up a shovel. You don't have to have equipment like George and Paramore. This community has been wonderful since we moved to Oakwood three years ago. I just can't say enough about Oakwood and Dayton and um, in Ohio. For families like the Arzolas, Project Evergreen is providing a Christmas gift that can last year-round. Pam Elliott, 2 News on your side.